when I'm finished with the project, I will find a good spot for a thumbnail. What we'll do is kind of look through, look through your scenes, like eh, um, maybe turn off the effects and stuff, just have the raw video, like a cool action shot. That's gonna be too blurry, yeah. So it's kind of cool. Maybe, um, oh yeah. Something like that might be cool, like right there. So then what I'll do, a lot of times I'll put a little mark right there just so I remember where it was, uh, snapshot it, and that'll bring it up down here. And I was, I was kind of messing around with it earlier, so there's a couple there. But then I'll go to the end. So this has already been rendered, it's ready to go. Um, so if I put something back here and forget it's there, it doesn't matter, because I've already rendered it and watched it and it's good, whatever. Um, so now we have our snapshot. So I like to have it big like this because if you put, maybe you want a little effect on there. Right? So you see that? So I can move it around, you know, if I want, if I want more or less of the effect. But that's, I don't want that effect. Just, just an example. So I think for this one, what I'll do, I will, yeah, something like that looks kind of cool, and I'll just kind of back it off a little bit. But then what I want to do is kind of zoom it in and have the car where I want it in the scene. So we're going to crop it down, maybe something like that, so we'll have room for text right here. Okay, let's see what that looks like. It's pretty cool, but the car is kind of blurry still. It's hard to tell what that is, so I don't think we're going to do that. So let's go... Let's go find a better shot. Let's try that. We'll drag it in here, super simple. We'll drag it down here, super simple. Doesn't matter if there's sound or not, but for this, I'm gonna mute it. Actually, right there is kind of a cool shot. Look at that. Let's try this. Let's, let's try this right here. I'm gonna bookmark it, or mark it right there. Um, I like the effect, so that looks all good. So let's see if we can crop it down a little bit. Um, so we're gonna take a screenshot. Why can't I find, oh, there it is. All right, so we got our screenshot. I'm just gonna put it right here. I'm gonna put this static back over it, like so. Now, right, I'm gonna turn that down a little more. That looks a little dark. That's pretty good. Okay. Yeah, there should be room for like a title here and then maybe, you know, logo here or whatever. Let's try this. That doesn't look too bad. Alrighty, so titles. Um, I just... This is pretty much the only one I use, just the plain, plain text one. So let's put that up here. We're probably gonna have more than just the one. All right, so we'll go here, double click that. It brings this up, oops, and I like to do everything in caps. This is also annoying, this little window. I wish it would pop up like here or something. I never use it and there, maybe there's a way to make it go away, but it's freaking annoying. Okay, so that, the size looks pretty close to what I want, but I want a different font. So I'm going, I like to just kind of go to the top or go somewhere random in the middle. So I don't like busy fonts like this. I don't, it's too hard to read. Um, I like that font, but not for this. Let's, let's try this one, see if we can make it look good. So I'll kind of center about like that. It looks like it's even kind of on both sides, but it's off to the side, but the car kind of offsets that. Alrighty, so we'll go to advanced and we're gonna go text fill. Um, I think I will change it. Um, I'll just use this red maybe. Yeah. Okay, so you see how that's kind of hard to read it's, it really contrasts with the background but it's still kind of like hard to read 
Um, so simple fix, put a text border on it. Um, I always, usually pretty much always make it black. See how much easier that is to read? Wow. And the other thing is the text shadow. A lot of times I'll just use whatever it puts it on, on at first and that works fine. But you can change the distance back, which that actually looks kind of cool. So we're going to go with that. All right. And it'll change it up there. And then I like to see what it looks like full screen. That's pretty cool. Good enough. So I'll put the title, Home RC Track. Picture of my car, and then just make a little Fretwork Studios logo thing. And something like this, I don't know, maybe we could put it at an angle. Like right there. And it's also fun maybe to change the font. So let's, let's look for a fun font. Like that one's pretty cool, it's different. Sometimes I gotta look through all of them. Let's go with that. It's not the best, but it's kinda cool. Okay, let's try this, let's try this. So let's get rid of that. And then let's put it like there, you know, sort of in line under that. And then we'll copy this and then paste it and then put it here click on that and put studios and we'll drag it down under there that's way better if you ask me there we go i'm like yeah i'm liking it that's fine so then there is a little bit of movement in the effect that we have on here. So I kind of want, see, I like this. Yeah, and then if you put another something over the top of it, like that just totally changed the look. I really like that. We'll back this off a little. I just want these uh, edges, see how they're kind of shadowed. And then it makes the, text kind of look like it blends in more with uh, I don't know it just looks better I like that so let's screenshot that boom and then that should show up in here boom it's right there okay the next step just go down to search if you're in Filmora and type snapshot usually you can just type snap and there it is right there double click it so how to do this what I do is you got this open, um, open it with paint, just, just paint. <clears throat> then you can close the other one. Uh, just go to resize, click on that and just hit 50. So it's going to make it 50% smaller and it'll change both the horizontal and vertical. So it'll be perfect and then hit okay. It makes it smaller and then go to save as or this is how I do it. Um, desktop, and I have video projects, and I don't remember what I called it, so I'm just gonna put it in here, home RC track. And then thumb, just so you know that's a thumbnail. Save it. Transparency. Why would there be transparency? I don't know. I don't see any problems with this. So I'm just going to minimize that. I'm not going to close it yet. So then I'm going to go back into project clips. And so it should be down here. But it's not. Oh, there it is. I'm going to open it. It looks fine. I don't know why it's saying transparency could be lost. We're done with our screenshot. So we go into YouTube. Uh, well, we're already on my channel. Uh, manage videos. Okay, so your thumbnail, real simple. Probably grab the right one here. Just drop it right there. Boom, now we have a thumbnail. So before, that was my thumbnail. Just this little randomly picked uh, 
scene you, that YouTube picked. So boom, now this is the new one. So go to save and boom, it pops up. So here's a lot of my thumbnails. This one's kind of cool. Uh, this one's pretty cool, I like that one. This one's cool. A lot of them are really good. A lot of them, some of them are not. Swarm of the Masses is good, I like that uh, thumbnail. This Ruby Beach one's kind of cool. It's a little dark though. So yeah, that's a quick little thing on how to make a thumbnail with Filmora. And I don't know why that's not changing. It's showing up here, so I know it uploaded it and it's there. So there it is.